hello everyone. Uh, just leaving the airport. Just had a little lesson this morning. Uh, I have my truck. I have my truck. My car trailer is behind, and I'm going to pick up a new toy. Yeah, so it's uh, starting to be nice here in uh, in Ontario. It's uh, sunny. The snow's starting to go away. Good time to buy a car. So I picked up a different, something different for me, different car. Um, I guess I buy them from time to time. This one's a keeper. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Should be good. It's uh, not too much of a project. It needs a few things. And because I'm still really into the Malibu project and almost done it, I'm going to take it to uh, my friend Greg's shop uh, in Lindsay, uh, Classic Auto Repair. And he's gonna do uh, get it ready for safety and whatever it needs. Um, I guess it's maybe an early birthday present to my, myself. Maybe I'm celebrating. I lost a bunch of weight. I lost 100 pounds. So um, maybe I'm celebrating that. Uh, I did a video on that. Check that out. Um, maybe I'm just buying it because uh, I'm bored. So. It's a car that I've wanted for a while. Uh, I've known about it for a while. I knew it was for sale last year. I knew the guy who I bought it from. I know the guy that he got it from. is a friend of mine. And uh, I saw the car a few years ago and really liked it. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. I guess you'll have to wait and see what it is. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. And, uh, and I'll start the video again here uh, when I get it on the trailer. Hey everyone, I just got loaded up. I don't know if you can see what's on the back there. But it's uh, very round and bubbly. Uh, just did a deal with a new friend. And uh, I'm quite happy about it. Uh, finished the deal. We did the deal last week. Um, it's a 66 Volkswagen Beetle. It is, uh, has a 71 1600 single port. It is uh, not at all really original. But it's a very solid car, I believe, from uh, the southern states somewhere at some point. And uh, I'm quite happy about it. Looking forward to getting it going here. Road's a little rough, but the car's tied down. I'm gonna stop and uh, check my straps here in a minute, and then uh, maybe I'll do a little walk around quick. Has some funky interior stuff that some I'm changing, some I'm leaving. Uh, it's definitely uh, different and it kind of fits uh, the vibe that I like. And uh, hopefully you guys like it too, because I'll probably take some videos, some driving videos and all this stuff. It's not much of a project, it's just going to be some cleanup stuff. And uh, I say that now, it'll probably be a huge project. Um, but I'm going to do some uh, driving and road tripping and that sort of good stuff. Alright, uh, check in with you in a minute. Hey again everyone, it was kind of windy outside, so I didn't uh, stop and do a walk around on the way. But I have it at home in the uh, slow car shop on the storage side, and uh, I'm quite happy with it. Um, it's a pretty interesting little car. I'm very happy about the whole thing. I think it's great. The um, uh, Malibu is kind of shoved to the side for right now, um, just uh, so I can get the, the bug in, because I kind of have the Malibu yard sailed all over the place. Uh, so I'll show you guys what's going on. The bug isn't staying here for very long because the bug is going to go to uh, Greg's to get uh, a bunch of stuff done. We took it for a spin. That was a hoot. I love it. I think it's great. And uh, I'll show you the car now. So you can see it's a small little guy. Uh, it's a 66. Um, so what had happened with it, you can notice that this is green. And this is done in like a flat black, and then that's bare metal finish on the roof and on the front. So what had happened with it was a friend of mine that used to own the car um, thought that he would do some sort of patina look, kind of like my truck is. Um, 
But I guess what happened was he dumped some paint stripper on it, on the hood and on the roof and on the sides. And yeah, he gave up. And anyways, Colin, the guy that I bought it from, got it. And he made uh, made uh, lemonade out of lemons. And he stripped the roof and the, the hood and the back and down to bare metal. And he did a clear coat finish on them. He did a satin black finish on the fenders to try and uh, on the front uh, because there was aircraft stripper or paint stripper all over the place. Uh, so he kind of made it made a car out of it, and I I like it. Um, I may or may not uh, paint the fenders green later and leave it like a two tone thing, but I kind of like the brushed metal look. Um, I think it's great. Uh, it, it matches uh, my truck kind of, and it, and it's kind of like a nice sort of rustic feel i kind of like it it's got this roof rack that's kind of custom deal um colin did a bunch of that i think he made it all out of uh pieces from one that was available from the states and then uh got the uh the oak for it um it's uh the deck lid you can see is still the green um but it's all you know brushed bare metal there uh it's got uh, dual exhaust uh, 1600 single port. Um, it actually doesn't look that messy, but it's it's a pretty oil, pretty oily mess. Um, it does have a problem with the transmission. Uh, it has a a synchro issue going from uh, first to second. So the transmission is going to come out, engine's going to come out, and it's going to get re the transmission's going to get rebuilt. Um, I see. Uh, I haven't looked at this thing really that close, but I see some wood screws in the for vacuum port uh, plugs, they're gonna have to go. I, I don't really like that. Uh, the engine's gonna get resealed because you can see it's got some oil happening here and there. Typical air-cooled stuff, nothing I'm not used to. Uh, yeah, so it's got, I see a little bit of rust here in the corners, that's not terrible. Uh, the pan and, uh, I'm not gonna pull back the carpet, but the pan and, the, and everything and the heater channels are all good. The heater channels need a little bit of love um, and the uh, tow board needs a little bit. Uh, I'm going to do that when I do some interior work. Uh, nothing that I have to pull the body or anything like that. It just needs some uh, spot repairs. Uh, it's not a big deal. Um, you can see uh, Colin got creative with the uh, door cards. I think that's hilarious. I'm not going to leave them. However, I'm going to hang one of them up on the wall, I think, in the shop just for like a keepsake. Uh, I really like this brown, uh, these brown seats. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think of uh, I should do for an interior color. Uh, they're new, the carpet's new and black. Um, I know another friend of mine uh, suggested that I do black seats and then black door cards and paint the dash black, but I don't. I really don't want to paint the dash. I kind of like it in that brown. Um, the back seat is in really good shape, but it's blue. So that's not really going to work. Um, it's got a, the blanket seat cover. Um, he's done some uh, artwork on the headliner, so I'm going to replace the headliner. Um, I'm assuming there's some sort of package shelf or something that can go in the back. So I will probably uh, do something with that. So it's going to get an interior rework. Um, I like the wheel. Not in this car, though. I'd really like the wheel to be um, more the patina rustic look and feel or whatever that uh, uh, that this car is kind of going for this vibe it's uh, lowered quite a bit it has these wheels on the back uh, they're seven inch wide wheels they're up from California apparently it's got the portal walls uh, I think it's pretty cool um, he's got some sort of something happening here with this uh, crooked Volkswagen emblem that's pretty cool uh, oh, it's got the one-piece glass instead of having like the uh, the quarter glass there. It's got like a one-piece glass kit, which is kind of neat. Um, I think it needs some adjustment and stuff because nothing's really sealing up right. Uh, how do you open this? You just pull on this? No, I don't know. I don't know how that opens. There's probably some way to open that, um, but it's pretty solid in there. Yeah, it runs real good. Um, it just has that synchro issue issue from first to second. 
Um, I noticed it mostly on uh, downshift, so it's synchros for sure. It's got a fresh clutch. Um, it's a little bit of blistering here, but really, like it's in it's in pretty good shape. And you know, like the metal finish roof, like there's no rust on it anywhere. So it's a southern bug at some point. Um, you know, it's all pretty solid in here. You can see that's all pretty solid. It's got the little basket. Um, it's got some sort of amount of miles on it. Who cares? Yeah. I love it. I think it's great. Quite happy about it. Um, not to make you dizzy, Malibu is near done. Uh, I'm just waiting on a couple of trim pieces to come in this week, and the interior is going to be done. And then uh, that will no longer be project status. Um, the goal of this car is for it to not be a project. Uh, it's going to be just a little bit here and there. Um, I'm going to spend a bunch of time on uh, sorting it out initially, but uh, then I just really want to enjoy it. I kind of like it just the way it is, apart from some minor interior cosmetic things um, that I'll deal with. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think of my new toy. It's... Uh, pretty neat I think it's pretty interesting it's not my first air-cooled car obviously um, but it is my first air-cooled Volkswagen and uh, I'm looking forward to playing with it uh, thanks very much for watching please check out my other videos uh, like share subscribe all those things I'm supposed to say to get you to uh, watch my other stuff and uh, hopefully there's more updates on this car I'll, I'll give you some updates as it goes like I said it's going to uh, Greg's shop sometime this week Engine will come out, transmission will go to a transmission shop, engine will get resealed, engine and transmission will go back in, it'll be checked over for certification and safety, and then it'll be on the road to enjoy. Um, let me know what you guys think I should do for the interior. I'm not really sure on that. I do like the brown. I'll talk to you later. Take care.